Welcome to the Vinci Resolve Tips and Tricks. On this episode, we are going to see something quite interesting. I'm pretty sure that most of you, if not all of you, came across something that is what, when, when you apply a lot to certain images, um, sometimes they come too strong and you discard them like straight away. It's like, no, this, you know, this is not good for this. Or sometimes like more amateur approach is like dial back the lot, you know, by percentage. The, and this what I'm going to show you here. So we, what you may want to reduce from that lot is not the color, but maybe just the contrast or vice versa. And by reducing the whole you know, lot as one, you, you're just reducing everything at once. And sometimes it doesn't really work. Um, okay, so, so th these are sort of already graded. Um, I separated a couple of shots here and here. These are just a Rex and conversion. So we can start from scratch. So let's jump on the color page. Let's start with this one. So without further ado, I'm, what I'm going to show you is how to separate the color and a contrast from a LUT. I'm going to first show you the, the LUT that I have in mind. So I'm going to apply straight after. Um, so this the, is coming in as Sony into DaVinci White Gamut and the White Gamut to Rex 9. So I'm going to be applying this Rex 9 tailored LUT. Come here, right click on go to the user lots go to this technicolor look collection for sony venice these are free these are free downloads from the sony website so i'm going to use this uh, jason fabro silver color and uh, just because it has a punchy contrast and um, we're going to use the rec 709 which is what we're applying after the odt cool apply it i'm going to label it a lot and as you can see it's punchy as f yeah so you know what you can do as i said before is reduce the overall intensity but it's not you know it's just not looking right it's like half sort of half the way there is a mix between what we had before and the lot still some harsh contrast there that i don't like i could go back here to the overall contrast and manipulate that back and forth push and pull but it's, it's not it's not ideal so let's go back here and let's do this technique so i'm gonna um just to make things simple i'm gonna create a um, shift s uh, just a, an empty note behind i'm gonna go back to the lot and press alt l to create a layer mixer node so what i'm gonna do is just i'm gonna move this lot to the bottom layer and reset the top yeah so this is a clean feed and this is the lot so here's the trick, the first one of the trick, which is separating, let's, sorry, let me unlabel this, um, which is separating the color. So layer mix node, right click, composite mode, color. We're gonna delete the node tree. I'm gonna compound this, select the whole thing, create compound, call it color. Grab a steel and change label, call it color. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to uh, come on Z to go back, go back to this and keep everything as it was, but only change in the layer mix node um, color for luminosity. As you can see, this is very contrasty. So we're, we're reading the contrast. Same thing. I'm going to delete the node tree. Um, before it, I'm going to compound this and call it contrast. I like to label label everything I do. Um, grab still. I'm going to call this contrast. Perfect. And then I'm going to control Z. I'm going to go back to our node tree and delete this. Boom. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create another with Alt S, another node and Alt P parallel node. So I'm going to bring to the top the color I'm going to bring to the bottom the contrast I'm going to close this and I'm going to create something I don't know if I showed it before if you come here to color um, come to grade version you can add a new grade version color grading version is added which is this one I'm going to delete this and I'm going to use this node to add the LUT that we were using just as a simple technicolor J is on Fabra Silver here and I'm gonna toggle with command N nothing changes 
So it's, it's exactly the same. Um, but now we can manipulate, say, the contrast. So we come here to key output and we can dial back just the contrast. And you can see that we're keeping those color that we like here. Yeah, we can keep manipulating the contrast until so we're happy with. Um, and you know, if you need a more exposure, you can bring it down. And at this point, you know, just you can do it with any with every LUT, and then you know, just have this flexibility that a LUT doesn't usually give you. You know, so you we're sort of creating a mini power grade. Um, out of just a baked in lot um, and I think it's very powerful you know it gives you it gives you more options so as we have them saved here that same lot but and, and you can you know you can start creating you know a, a folder with these you know if we were to call them I don't know, let's change like um, tips and tricks lot so so you already ha have it here and you know if you, if you go to uh, on our next image. So we're going to create that parallel node, color at the top, contrast at the bottom. It's super harsh. <laughs> so first thing, let's go to the contrast and just dial it back. Um, you know, I mean, the, the color is doing, it's doing a lot, you know, obviously, you know, if you can see the image, just by, by nature because you know the light reflects on all the trees that, that they're here and, and behind I mean the opposite of this shot is just a forest um, so you can see that the harsh I haven't balanced anything you know just um, the exposure correction because I like again I like shooting to the right um, but you can see how everything when I go on and off how everything's it's got like a green tint um, so I really like what this lot like silver lot um, is doing to my image and even this this is very characteristic of film um, especially you know what some of the Kodak film print which is making the yellows a bit more like marigold like color a bit sort of towards the orange side so you know I really like what, what it's doing um, there and, and to the whole image even to this um, the reds that are making them a bit more on the orange side cooling down the shadows I mean I like what I see as I say it's far from perfect um, this will require more correction and um, I'm far from you know short very far from perfect as I'm saying really harsh highlights deep shadows etc but already for me it's, it's sort of an improvement in, in colors in color separation um, where everything has a green tint to it and this you know giving some character yeah, film characteristic to it. We are literally just applying the color without the contrast, or well, with the contrast up fifty percent. And I re I'm really digging what it's doing, so I'm gonna just park it there for example sake. And yeah, that's that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, until next time.